Recently I told the story of Sadako Sasaki and her 1,000 paper cranes. It's a great Japanese tradition that if you have a special thing that you want to pray for, that you fold 1,000 of these as, a, as something lifted to God. Well, in her story, as she was very young but very sick, she folded 644, wasn't quite able to complete them, and so her classmates rallied to it to, to make this prayer request on her behalf. So we thought, inspired by that story, that we have a lot to pray for also, and that it would be nice for us to make our own 1,000 cranes. And we want you to participate in that process as well. So I want this morning to kind of teach you how to do this. Now the truth is I've never done this myself. I've only seen the cranes. So we're going to click on here and I'm going to do some little research for us all to learn how to do this. Okay, they're telling me we begin with a 6 by 6 piece of paper. That's the best for beginners because it's not too hard to fold. So we're going we're gonna to begin actually with a green one here. I'm going to try this out. No, they're, they're already moving on. Let me see. They, oh, they move so fast. Okay, let me rewind here and try to get the gist of it. You know, for somebody who's really good at this, they can do it in just five minutes. For somebody like me, it takes an hour or so to learn to get it all down. Okay, so we've actually had an hour elapse here in the project process where I have been able to construct my first cranes. You'll see this little, what looks maybe more like a dragon than a crane, but with this, these wings folded down, that is what, what we have, my nice first little green, green process. So we're going to do it all together here. I want you to take your six by six sheet of paper and kind of the trick is you start out folding it from a diamond into a triangle so the most important thing at the beginning is to make sure that all your lines are lined up okay and then pr plus fl uh, make it flush at the end so that you have a nice triangle now this is just a preliminary fold so you want to do the same thing on the other side okay once again try to make it as flush against the edges as you can and then fold it as you go so you will have something that looks like this with a plus sign in the middle okay now the next thing is to actually turn it upside down okay and once you are there you fold it like a book so your square becomes a rectangle okay once on each side okay my Folding's not perfectly straight, but try to do your, we'll all do our best. And one more time doing the exact same thing. Fold it on the other end so that you have the crease. Now kind of the fun thing, if you've done this far right, you can just hold it up and you'll see that it all pulls together, okay? If you can't get to this point, go back and start from the beginning. But if you're here, you can see fold one end down so that you now have a square and make sure that that is, is flat and flush. Now you see that there's one particular side that has an opening. See on this side, the other side doesn't. You want to turn that towards yourself. Okay, and that's where we're going we're gonna to begin our folding from here. Now you want to just take one part, one of the pages here, and fold this up like a kite, right into where that crease is. It'll make the line for you. Fold it like that. Do it on one side, and then one more time on the opposite side, so that you have a little triangle shape in the middle of that. Okay? And just try to make these as straight as you can. Okay? That'll make a big difference in the end. So once you're to this point, we want to just fold the hat down so that we'll be down at the, at the end right like that, okay? Now the trick is, once you're to here, you do it one more on the other side. So simply flip it over and fold that second piece of paper in the exact same way that you did the first, okay? Once, and then the other side for twice, 
and to make it up here, okay? So now you have a triangle. Okay, now these are, again, just preliminary folds. You're going to have to open it up again. And now pull up just the very top piece. Okay, pull up that very top piece and open it up here so that you should have something like a mouth. If you keep pulling it tight, you'll see that the folds that you already make kind of come together. So you're not making any new folds here. You're just letting those folds come together so that you can make once more a diamond kind of shape. Okay. And if you flatten it out in the shape that it's already made, a little bit tricky, you'll end up again with a diamond. So do that one more time on the other side, okay? Flip it over and open it up on the bottom, and then open up your mouth so that it all comes together. Okay, now against, again you have a, the mouth opening up. If you keep full, pulling it tight, you'll see that it will want to collapse along the lines that you have already made. Try to make those lines work out as they're meant to be. Okay, and fold that in kind of tight. Okay, mine's want, wanting to fight with me here. I have to get this right. Okay, and again, if at any stage you feel it's not coming together for you, you go back and Watch again another part of the video. So we should have a diamond on both sides. Okay? Now here at the bottom, make sure you get this, this right on the bottom, you're going to have what are going to be the beginning of your head and tails. Okay? And for here again, you're going to fold up just the top piece of paper. Okay? One more time, kind of like the kite fold here, as you pull it up right against the crease. Okay, the crease that you have, do that once on each side so that you will have something that looks a little like that. Okay? And once you get to here, you want to flip it over and do it one more time on the opposite side as well so that we are going to have these nice, clear-shaped head and tail, nice and thin. There we go, pulling these down. Okay, so we have that on both sides. Now this is kind of the tricky part, but not so bad. We want to, you want to kind of lift these up first. So that you see here is your head. Or either one can be the head or the tail at this point. You just want to fold them up like that, so that the crease is already made. Okay, but... Uh, the tricky part is, instead of those, it won't hold together if you do that. You have to turn it to the side, and now open it on the side. And now you want that head to go back up as it was, and to fold it inside so that it all comes together. And it'll start to look a little like that, or this on the front. And do that same thing on the other side. You turn it over and open it up here in the middle. Now hold up your tail so that it comes together and once again fold it on the inside. Okay, so that it all comes together for both. So now you can kind of see that it's coming together. You could just fold down these flaps and you will have wings. Okay, on one side and then the next. And now you want to just kind of press the tail out wherever you think it should be. If you want the neck to be a little straighter out or whatever, just kind of like that. Okay? And here is the wings fold up. And the last thing is just to bend the head a little bit so that you will have the head of the crane. Okay, I wish you luck at that. You'll probably have to do it a couple times to to try it, but I encourage you to make a bunch of these, because ultimately what we will do is string these all together so that we will have hundreds or 1,000 cranes coming of all different colors and sizes, 
and will be strung up so that we can always see how our prayer is lifted up to God. All right, have fun with this one, and I'll look forward to seeing your cranes.